Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know. My name is AJ. We are back on another episode of Zonocraft, the season two, <laughs> episode 98, closing in on that episode 100. Today, there's a couple of things <clears throat> that I want to do. First thing, I want to clear my, my throat. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Second thing is I want to get as much wheat as I can so we can make some hay bales to put in our stable. Third thing is I want to breed our donkey and our horse to make a mule. My dog just heard that cat. My dog's sitting next to me. He heard him. He's going, woof, woof. It's on the, on the TV. I'll, I'll move away from it in a minute. Don't worry about it, dog. You'll be fine. It ain't gonna hurt you. And I also need just one carrot. Thank you. Oh, no, I need two carrots. Perfect. Uh, to breed up our horses. Horses take either uh, golden carrots, <clears throat> my voice again, or golden apples. Also, the uh, redstone has been fixed. I know a lot of you have been saying in the comment section below that uh, the piston glitch thing has been fixed now. So we can build our 4 by 4 door to entrance to our, our place now really, really easily. So that's wonderful stuff. So let's grab a little bit of gold and make these golden carrots. They take ingots, I, don't, I think, don't they? Pretty sure they take ingots. Going to be cheaper than a golden apple, that's for sure. So that's definitely the way to breed them. Uh, what else did I want to do? Let's make these into wheat blocks. Where would they be? How would you make a block of wheat? I don't think I've ever done it before. Hmm. You guys are going, it's there. It's re oh my god, he's so dumb. He just missed it. There it is. It's in with the, uh, of course, it would be in with the gold, iron, and diamond, and emerald block, and lapis, wouldn't it? Of course it would be. Why? Where else would it be? <laughs> in with all the gems. Okay, while I was down here, let's also grab a little bit more spruce, because I think I want to put a spruce roof on it. So let's grab some more spruce, and then we'll go up there. I've also got a not really a funny story, but a funny happening uh, that happened to me. Or, or It's not even that funny. I just want to talk to you about it, <laughs> really. Uh, but first, let's um, let's breed up this mule. Let's sleep away the night as well. Should have grabbed some sugar while I was down there to breed it up as well, to make it bigger, to make the, uh, the mule bigger. I have no idea what we should name this mule. I have literally no idea. Maybe we should have a mix of the two names. We've got Victor the Fourth, and who, who was the other guy? I can't even remember now. Maybe we can even move these, or maybe we'll put the baby one, the new one, in our new stables. Maybe we should keep one of them in here. Um, let's let's try it. So we give you, and we give you, and we get. Oh, <gasps> I so damn cute, Knuckle Brain, <laughs> Knuckle Brain, and Victor the Third. So, um, I don't know, maybe you call him Little Knuckle? Or Knuckle Junior. Knuckle Junior the Mule. Pretty damn cool. Okay, well, we'll leave him... Sh mm. I was going to leave him there, but will he... He shouldn't... He shouldn't despawn. But I don't trust it, you know? Oh, uh, well, we'll find out. If he despawns, it's no problem. We can go. We can make another couple of um, of of apples. That's for sure. Ow! I thought he was going to be friendly to me for a minute. How on earth is he even still alive? He must have been just underneath the lip there. Okay, so let me get on here. Let's start doing the roof. Or let's get the roof sort of line in first, so I know where to place my blocks while I tell you uh, about the next story. Have I got a crafting table? Nah, of course not. <laughs> of course, of course I wouldn't. No, that would be way too prepared for me, wouldn't it? Okay, let's grab some of these. A ton of them if I can. Because I don't want to run out halfway through and then have to pillar back up. I don't like doing that. Okay, that'll do. That'll be wonderful. So, a uh, little bit of a story. It's really not that interesting, so don't get, <laughs> don't get that excited about it. Uh... But whenever I tell a story on YouTube, on here, when I'm telling a story to you guys, if it's about when I used to be at school, or if it's uh, about a work job, or anything along those sort of lines, I usually uh, 
describe the person instead of saying their name or I just call him they or him or uh, if I'm talking about my friend who's a Canadian I usually say exactly that I usually say my Canadian friend okay which works fine for YouTube because if I done it any other way uh, it might confuse some of you some of you might be thinking like well who's he talking about we don't because his name's Eric but my my Canadian friend he's called uh, Eric uh, but if I didn't actually, if you guys didn't know and you were a new subscriber and I just went, oh yeah, me and Eric, you'd be like, who, who's Eric? Who is this? Why, why are you talking about someone that we don't have no idea who you're talking about? Uh, so I always, I always just say the Canadian one or whatever. Or if I'm at school, I used to say like the bully or one of my friends or whatever. You, you get what I mean. But anyway, point of the story is that I had a real life friend come over and uh, I was telling him uh, about a restaurant that we had been to recently, me and my girlfriend. In fact, it was for, for Valentine's Day. We went out to this restaurant uh, called Zach's. Now, if you're in the UK, it's fairly possible that you might have heard of Zach's. Uh, if you're not in the UK, it probably doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, but Zach's is an American diner. An American restaurant, so basically it sells very large burgers, you know, dripping with barbecue sauce, and there's so many different ones, and they're so amazingly delicious that you won't even believe. And uh, I love it, and my girlfriend loves it as well. She she likes getting the stuff from there, and uh, really nice service, really nice atmosphere, and it has these oops, it has these uh, American license plates because it's an American diner. They try to uh, make it feel a little bit more American, if you like. So, you know how you have car license plates, registration plates, we call them here in the UK. Um, they have them stuck all on the wall, which I'm sure you've seen many restaurants in the past uh, do that. However, one of these license plates uh, is actually a Canadian plate, not an American plate. And that annoys my Canadian friend way more than it should. Like whenever, whenever he goes there, he's like, "That's not a Canadian. That's not an American plate. That's a Canadian plate. That shouldn't be in there." And I laugh every time because I know how much it winds him up for whatever reason. But my real life friend that came over that I was talking about this to uh, knows Eric. Knows my Canadian friend. But I'm so used to telling stories to you guys and not using names that I said to him, I said, oh, and yeah, I've got this Canadian friend and at the restaurant, there's a Canadian player. And I told him the story and he, he looked at me and he went, are you talking about Eric? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, why didn't you just say Eric? Why did you say your Canadian friend? I know him too. He's, he's not just your friend. You know, and uh, it just made me laugh because I thought to myself, I thought, well, yeah, why, why did I, why did I say my Canadian friend to someone who knows him? I mean, me, my friend, and Eric uh, talk quite a lot. We we have some nights in, we have a chat, you know, we watch some YouTube together when we come over, uh, and it's all good fun. We they know each other very well, in fact. Uh, but I just found it funny. I told you, I told you this story wasn't really that funny for you guys. I just found it funny. I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, but it was just funny how, for some reason, I am now talking to people in my real life in the same way that I talk to you guys. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. I actually have a lot less than what I thought. <laughs> I thought I had way more slabs than that. That's surprising. Okay, we can make some more. That's no problem. So yeah, that was my... Uh, that's what happened to me very recently with uh, <laughs> with that. And I know I've done it in the past as well. I know for a fact that I... That's not the only time. But I think most of the time, people seem to be... Or the people that I'm talking to seem to be sort of... Uh, kind enough not to uh, not to say anything, and they're just like, oh yeah, and they know who, they know who I'm talking about, but they just don't they just don't go on it. I don't know. It's very strange, very strange. I need to get out of that habit for sure. Should I, in future, to you guys, to save me in real life the embarrassment, should I just start saying names in stories? 
because they won't mind. They probably won't even know. They don't watch my videos, so they're not going to know. Uh, only trouble is, is for new subscribers, uh, if I use n real names all the time, they're not going to know who I'm talking about. So only you guys listening to this right now are going to know who Eric is, which is the Canadian one. <laughs> and he gets annoyed with the li license plates. But yeah, very strange. Also, while I'm doing this roof, I want to talk to you uh, about the vlogging sort of side of things that I wanted to start. Uh, and hopefully going to start. I mentioned it in my birthday video last month that I wanted to do some vlogs. And uh, you guys were really up for that. Uh, which surprised me a little bit because most channels, whatever they start with, whatever their channel originally is, they sort of get stuck with. So if you're a gaming channel, you can only really do gaming videos. Uh, anything else doesn't quite do as well because the viewers are used to watching gaming videos. That's why they subscribe to you. You know, you subscribe to me for, for most likely Minecraft. So when I do do other games, uh, a lot of you are a little bit apprehensive. I actually like this design better on this side. Yeah. Uh, you guys are a little bit apprehensive and you might not, you might not give the new game uh, a look because you're you're just subscribed to Minecraft, and that's absolutely fine. However, I do recommend that you do try out my other stuff uh, when I do come up with uh, non-Minecraft related things. You might really enjoy it. You might enjoy it so much that you might actually want to get the game yourself. That's happened to me so much in the past with other YouTubers. Uh, Besieged, I think, is my latest one. Yeah, I'm going to do that there and leave the, leave the posts there. Yeah, I like that better. Um, I watch a YouTuber called B Double O, and uh, he has been not not really a, a solid series, just like a mini series that he just does now and again uh, of a game called Besieged, which is a an alpha game uh, on Steam at the minute. It was only like five quid or something like that, and uh, it's like a sort of medieval building, not like Minecraft. It's like a medieval vehicle building game. I think is probably the easiest way for me to describe it for you. And uh, I watched it for about eight episodes, and then I thought, you know what, I, I want to have a go at this myself, and I did. Uh, and that's a really cool benefit of watching YouTubers that you that, that play other games, because I have been having so much fun with that. I haven't been recording it, um, but I've been having fun. It's nice to have some games that I play off camera, if you know what I mean, that I don't need to worry about uh, recording with uh, and stuff. And I've just been chilling out on that now and again. Uh, but the vlogging side, uh, you guys have been very, very interested in. And I've even had a couple of comments saying, when are you going to start your first vlog? I'm thinking about doing vlogs just one a month, I think, to start off with until maybe we all get a little bit more settled with the idea. Uh, one a month starting on the 1st of next month. However, I'm not quite sure what exactly to do in these vlog videos. I mean, outside of YouTube, I do have a life. I do have some things go on. I, you know, I've got, in fact, I've got something very, very big planned out in my real life. Nothing to do with YouTube, <laughs> unfortunately for you. But in my real life, uh, I've actually got something huge planned. Uh, so maybe I'll talk about that in my first uh, vlogging. Let me get comfy. In my first uh, vlog. You guys will have to be keep it quiet, though. You won't be able to tell anybody about it, okay? Um, but yeah, maybe I can talk about that on the first episode, or on the first vlog. Uh, maybe we can do some stuff out in the car, maybe I can drive somewhere and you guys can join me. What I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below is what sort of vlogs would you like me to do? What ideas would you like to see me do? What, what would, what part of my real life would you like to see? Would you like to see my real job? As a property, I'm a property developer in real life. So would you like to uh, see me uh, travel out to the properties and uh, and do my thing there? You know, do whatever. Uh, would you like to, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm really a little bit stuck about this. I really like the idea of, I haven't got a shovel. I really like the idea of doing some vlogs. I'm just not quite sure what you guys would be interested in seeing. So stick that in the comment section below. That's my question of the day. I haven't done a question of the day for quite a while now. And uh, I would be very, very interested to hear what you guys uh, 
would like to see. Very interested. All right, anyway, I'm just going to fill in this creeper hole because this has been annoying me for a number of episodes now. I know, I'm one of those people that only do the top layer. I never do the, the bottom layer. I apologize. <laughs> it, it annoys me when I see other people do it, but then when it comes to a creeper hole on my world, I just don't have the effort to, to fill in all of the layers. Okay, I like that. I like that with the pillars going through the back. I think that's a nice roof. It's still high enough to get... Thank you. It's still... That's because of the autosave. That always messes up redstone, that does. Still high enough to store a horse. A nice 3x3 area. We can get out without letting the horse out. That's such a simple, amazingly cool uh, <laughs> redstone thing, that is. I, I was so pleased when we thought of that. Okay, so let's put a couple of these sort of hay bales down. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And then we've got one building in here. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay for time. I've got the building in the background here uh, that we need to build a sort of room where we're going to keep... Uh, why can't I place... Oh, because of the torch. Where we're going to keep uh, leads on hand and we're going to keep um, uh, name tags and saddles and all of that sort of stuff right here so we know exactly where it is all the time it's by the horses that's where they should be there's going to be no trouble with things despawning because we'll be able to name them straight away i'll even put an anvil in here so we can actually name the name tags uh straight away and i think that's going to be pretty much uh our best our best plan for it and you know what i think just a nice cobblestone would look really nice in here can i get in there oh i can't you poop let me in there. I've got the hiccups coming. I'm trying to hold them down. Hopefully, you haven't picked up on it too much yet. <laughs> I have to do this stop every now and again. Okay, what a successful episode, though. We've got a mule. We've uh, finished a roof. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. And some of you are saying you should put names. The names of the horses, like, on the fronts. Really cool idea. Definitely something that we're going to do. Okay. That comes down like that. Yeah, wonderful. I just have to be careful not to activate those when there is a horse in there. Yeah, and then this is a nice little sized room in here to do everything that we need. So we're going to put a little crafting table down in here. Maybe in the corner. Uh, I've got some wood on me for some chests. Uh, I think I think just a double chest will do for now. I oops, I don't think we need anything more than that. I haven't got an, any iron on me to make an anvil, but we could go and... Probably nick that one out of the uh, mob farm, in fact. Oh, and let's put a little bit of light in there as well. <laughs> and then there and there. Oh, what a lovely sized room. It's a five by five. My favorite sized rooms, that is for sure. And then out here will be uh, the paddock, which will just be a, basically a bunch of fences. Uh, have I got enough wood? Probably. Yeah, should do. I'm just going to make a bunch, like a, a ridiculous amount of fences. Because I always, I always run short on fences. Uh-huh. And then just make a butt ton of these. And horses won't be able to jump out of them by themselves. But we'll be able to make them jump out ourselves once we ride them. So, uh, and we can get them in there that way as well. So, I want a little bit of space to be able to walk through and around with the horse. So something like this. And I think that's big enough for a nice little sort of holding slash breeding pen, isn't it? We can always expand it if we need to. You know what? We need to be able to get out of here, don't we? We need to be able to get out of here once we like drop a horse off in there. So we are going to have to have some gates. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. We'll have one on each side then. Is there a middle point? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, there isn't. Oh, poop. <laughs> I'm going to extend it out. Uh, what about this way? Is there a middle point this way? One, two, three, four. No, I've done a perfect square. That is stupid. I can't believe I've done that. Okay, I'll put one there. There. No, not there. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> God damn it. Right. There. Take that one away. That's better. One there. Nope. There. It fools you, doesn't it? And one there. 
And then we'll put the gates in there. That's enough. Four gates will be fine. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go down and just very quickly, I would like to grab a lead, a name tag, and an anvil, and then and some sugar, possibly. And then we'll go and see if that mule is still there. I'm not going to go now. I'll, I'll have a look in a bit. Uh, and a saddle as well, because we're going to have to put a nice little saddle on him. Pretty sure I've got all that stuff. I think the only things I'm short on are leads. I, You can make leads, can't you? Oh, wait a minute. Can you make leads? Oh, I always get confused. Is it name tags that you can make? Or is it leads you can make? I think it's leads you can make with string and slime bolt. I don't think you can make name tags. I'm going to make myself look like a complete idiot here, aren't I? Uh, where are they? Where would they be? I have no idea where they would even be. Maybe in here? Leads. Ah, yeah. So you can't make name tags. That's it. I made a mistake last episode then, guys. Okay, that's fine. We can make leads. We just can't make name tags. I have two name tags left. So that's cool. So we'll grab. Might as well grab them both. Grab all these l saddles as well. Ah, junk chest. <laughs> junk chest. Throw some stuff in here. I will. I promise I will sort this out. Aha. Uh -huh. Crafting tables I don't need. Because this stuff is always in my way. We'll grab the armor, we'll grab the leads, some horse armor. I'll also grab some slime balls and a little bit of string. That's all the string I've got to put in there as well. And I said a anvil, which is down here. I've got one in the mob farm here. Oh my God. Hey, lots of creepers, please don't blow up in my face. Oh man, this is nerve wracking. Oh, don't blow up. Oh, don't blow up. Oh, don't blow up. No. Oh, man. We're getting him down. I fell. Aha, aha. We good? We're good. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm safe. Grab that anvil. I would really like that stuff too. Wonderful. <laughs> and then two creepers just fall. That's crazy. I got the anvil. Wonderful. Let's go back up here and just get like a mini setup. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay for time. We're getting towards the end of the episode though now. Up we go. And around here. I need to go and get go to the end and get some ender pearls as well really soon. Uh, because our base is actually getting quite large. Like we ha we're having to travel quite a distance to be able to, uh, to get anywhere. So having ender pearls on us at all times is sort of going to be a must. I tell you what we will do as well. We'll put an ender chest in here at some point. That's always a good thing to have. Uh, I was supposed to go to the donkey first, to the mule first. Oh, well. Let's uh, stick all except one in there. Stick that in there. Horse armor can go in there. This anvil can go down here. That's nearly broken. It's not doing so hot. We'll put one lead in there. Oops, whoops, steady. And a name tag in there. Wonderful. And then we've got all the other stuff. So, what do we call him? I liked Victor Jr. No, not Victor Jr. I like Knuckle Jr. Oh, oh, I saved. There we go. I did like Knuckle Jr. So, again, we're going to show you how to do custom colored text because you guys always forget. Uh, to get this, you need to press uh, left trigger. Right, to go over to here. Go down to this symbol. Hold down A. Go left to that one and hit that. And then do a number. And depending on what number it is, depends on what color. I never know which one it is. So I'm just going to go with number two for now. On PlayStation, I'm not quite sure how to do it. I don't know if there even is a way. Maybe there is. If there is, then you guys can let me know in the comment section below. And you can let the other PlayStation players know. So we're going to do... Oops. Knucker. <laughs> is that how you spell knuckle? That's how I'm going to spell knuckle. I don't know if it is the right way. And then we're going to do another color. We'll do... Nine. I don't know what color nine is. Knuckle... Oops. Junior. Knuckle Junior. Wonderful. I have no idea what colour that's going to give us. Still have no idea what that's going to give us. Oh, and it's getting night time. Wow. Is that like three night times in this one recording? I think it's been three night times for me with a bit of preparation work. I think it's only been two for you. Which means we are... We are over time. <laughs> is what that means. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I'm going to sleep away the night. Then we're going to name Knuckle Jr. As long as he hasn't despawned. And we'll bring him over to the other side. As well as eat some baked potatoes. <laughs> That's a plan. That sounds like a plan if I've ever heard one. Okay. Jump. Need to fix up this area as well. Had a couple of creeper blasts here, and that's... It's ruined it, basically. <laughs> There's no other word to say it. It's just ruined it. I love this house. That house has really grown on me with the blocks that we used. Really, really grown on me. Okay. Oh! Hey, he's grown by himself. Wonderful. Can we put a saddle on you? Oh, do we have to tame you first? Yeah, we do. I didn't know that. I thought like a bred horse was straight away tamed. He's got a fair few hearts. How many hearts have you got? He's got 13. The donkey... Oh, oh, the donkey's got 13 or they both have 13? Oh, no. The horse has 11 and a half. The donkey has 13. And the mule has sort of gone down the middle. Did we get love hearts then? I think we had love hearts. Can we put a saddle on you now? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, now can I... I don't think I can get out of here, can I? No, I can't. Um. This... Can I hit that button? Does this button work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I remember breaking the redstone. Woo! I remember breaking the redstone accidentally a little while ago. Or, or a few episodes ago. Okay. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Get him off. Oh, man. Uh huh. And then the button makes it go up, does it? Or do a press place go up again? Yeah, there we go. We done it. Wonderful. Let's bring him over. And then we'll stick the name tag on him. And bring this episode to a close. What colour should we put him in? So, Vic, uh, Knuckle Jr., what colour would you like? Would you like orange? I think you'd like orange. Huh? There we go. Works like a charm. Stick the name tag on you. Oops. Nope. Don't crouch. Knuckle Jr. Green and like a purple. That's nice. <laughs> Pretty sure I've spelt Knuckle wrong. Looking at it now, I I think it's Ellie. I might be wrong. But you go in there. Uh, can I put a chest on you? I think you can put a chest on a mule, can't you? Uh, oh, I, I put my wood away. Oh, that sucks. Um, I'm really... No, I'll find... <laughs> you guys can let me know. I'll test it later. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. <laughs>